woman wanted to jump into the pool to surprise her sleeping boyfriend, but she didn't know that the water was only 10 centimeters deep. She set herself up, and made a dash for it, and the dog on the side barked furiously, and the man was woken up, and told her not to jump. The woman slips and knocks her head on the counter. Jason hurriedly swam over and put her it on the mat, by now his head was bleeding profusely, and Jason shouted for help, but no one answered. By the end of the night, the water was still draining away, the body could already touch the bottom, and his girlfriend fell into a coma and never woke up. Just then, the dog above was filled with panic, as if he had seen something terrible. It turned out that a crocodile had climbed out, and he approached slowly towards the dog, who also slipped, and fell into the pool, leaving Jason terrified. He rushed down to check where the crocodile was, but unfortunately it was so dark that he couldn't see anything. As he thought he was in for a fight, the crocodile fell asleep in the corner. The next day the water had drained and the crocodile next to him still had its bloody mouth open and his girlfriend's injured head was still bleeding. Jason realized he had to treat her, but after searching around, only the crocodile had a ring of tape in its mouth. He had to put his life on the line to save his girlfriend. He reached for it fearfully, but then the dog barked, and Jason gestured for him to shut up, and reached for the tape again. Just then, the crocodile opened its mouth for a moment to shock him, and didn't attack him any further, padding the towel and taping it up. Jason saw the spout off to the side and had an idea. He took off his girlfriend's necklace, and used it to unscrew the screw on the lid, and proceeded to open the well cover. But as he went back to help his girlfriend, the crocodile got in first. Luckily, the sewer was accessible from both sides, and Jason climbed in towards the other side, but just as he was about to reach the surface, the lid was locked. At this point, the crocodile returned to the pool and crawled towards his girlfriend. Jason saw it and rushed back up, and just as his girlfriend was about to be bitten by the crocodile, he grabbed it by the tail and threw it dozens of meters away. Luckily, the crocodile was good-tempered, and didn't bother with him. By nightfall, his girlfriend had awakened. They were so hungry that their chests were on their backs, when lightning flashed in the sky and they finally got a drink of water. The next day, several eggs appeared by the crocodile's side.